right, you guys, first and foremost, I'm excited about this trip. This is something we've never done before. I remember starting my YouTube channel and getting 100 subscribers and then 1,000 subscribers and like, wow, we're really helping some dogs and now we just hit 700,000. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm heading to a shelter to help dogs that need help the most. These are the dogs that are sitting on the hard floor uh, waiting for an angel, waiting for a savior, waiting for a beacon of light to come in and save them from the position that they're in. But first, we have to stop at my facility to grab an impact crate so we can help them out with some of the crate training stuff because that's going to be important when transitioning these shelter dogs into a new home. I want to show you guys the new mural. Come check this out. But here's the impact. Let's go save some dogs. So the reason why I say it, like it gives me anxiety and stress and stuff is because like when I go in there, I know that I can help these dogs. I know that I can be that beacon of light for them. I know that I can help them. And so it's just very overwhelming for me and I get really sidetracked. So I'm just kind of pushing everything aside and I'm like, I'm gonna go in there and help these dogs today. But first I gotta go get a snack because I eat way too much and I'm really hungry and that's going to Panera, let's go. Are there any dogs that have been here for too long? Yes. Okay. There's one in particular. Uh, Baloo, he's the gray pit bull at the end. He has been here a year now. Um, we had him adopted out like within the year. He was in a home for three months, but now he's back. He develops more problems. Hey, big guy. Yeah. Baloo! Boop. Dog's been here for a year. Dog is, I can hear him right now. He's reacting to everybody uh, that walk, most people that walks by and every dog. So if we can get him to not react to people when they walk by his kennel, as well as not react to other dogs, maybe out for a walk in this little parking lot, that'll be good. Some of the things that we're gonna be bringing out, the, dog, the Tom Davis Dogtra 280C. Uh, I'm gonna bring like a whole toolbox out. Um, we got some slip collars, we got some leashes. The thing about working with sheltered dogs, these dogs are in you know, not so great environments and situations, uh, and they don't, they don't know what to do a lot of times. And so you gotta have a, t a big toolbox because you never know the projects you're gonna end up with. And for me, if I have a limited toolbox, it's just gonna limit the dog's opportunities to be successful. That's why over the years of working with dogs for the last 14 years, I've accumulated different tools and different styles to ultimately help the dogs that we're working with, especially in situations like this, where these guys desperately need a home. They're in these little, you know, it just breaks my heart, it breaks my heart. Uh, what do you guys normally use with him? As far as the front collar right here. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna get you a better one. He would look good in Kurrigan. Okay. Let's go for a walk with him. Cause I just wanna get to know him a little bit before we tell him what he can't do. So, so I've worked him like in the middle of that yard with all the dogs out before and I've got him up to the kennels sitting, laying down next to the kennels with the dogs barking. Um, when I try it inside, it's just too much inside. Close quarters. Um, he wants to lunge to every kennel and bark, but he's actually, he has gotten better. We work on heel with the prong collar, keeping him in a heel. I use my body, my legs and knees to kind of block him from the other dogs and like block him into his kennel so he doesn't react. Okay. I tried to work on like one-on-one -on -one with the dog in a kennel inside with walking past with him with leave it. Um, and he's good, he's good. And then when he wants to go, he'll just go. And I haven't been able to like correct him or bring him back from it. It's like he hasn't Have you felt anything. Have you tried the remote collar? No. We okay. haven't tried that on the dogs here. I know our board has been against it in the past. Like if you use the vibrate, yeah. I think that might be able to bring him down. Okay. It has in the past for me. Okay. And that's something I'm not entirely well like, experienced on using yeah. properly. It's literally the same. You're replacing the collar correction with the button. So typically what we do is like you're out in a heel, you're using your leash to manage you know he's a big block heady dog so he's gonna be you know he's tough he's strong right so you're healing him and then as soon as he goes from whoosh, you would leave it and then that usually gives you enough time to kind of deter the behavior from happening and disrupt it and then it gives you an opportunity for the dog to think he's either gonna stop barking and we're gonna be like whoosh, great or he's not gonna give a shit. Mm -hmm. that's worst case scenario best case scenario right. that's it 
So right now we're going in uh, with the Tom Davis Dogtra 280C. And like you guys have seen in countless videos of mine of being successful by discouraging the reactivity with the vibrate, the vibrate only with the remote collar, we're gonna see if we can kind of pull some of that uh, reactivity down and be able to get him to think. It's gonna be easier for him to show to potential adoptees, ultimately finding him his forever home that he deserves and that he needs to get out of you know his pen here in the outside world. So that's what we're about to do. Let's do it. So that, so he's building there. Um, you think you'll be okay with me handling him? Okay. So he's already building a little bit. See his tail is already, Baloo, good job. Baloo, come, leave it, leave it. Good boy, come on, good boy. Good, I just used a little pager there, just a little, good boy. Baloo, come, leave it, leave it. Pager, good job, you're good. Good job, good boy. So you hear that terrier screech start to come out. Now you see how the pager discouraged that and kind of like he went from here and then he's like, and that's what we were talking about. And that dog's picking up what Baloo's putting down. Leave it, leave it. That's the pager there, leave it. Good, and that's just the vibrates, much like your cell phone, good. Baloo, sit, good man, heel. So break. So teaching him what, what was inappropriate there. Good job, Baloo. Leave it, leave it. Yes, good boy, nice decision. Little bit of pager work. Very good, good. Ah, uh ah, -uh. sit. Nice work, so nice calm behavior now, which is nice. Good man, good boy. Gives it gauges interest right now. Doesn't care about the other dog. Little, little build, yes, good boy. A Little bit of leash pressure, good boy. Good job, Baloo. It's nice, right? Yeah. Very nice. Didn't take much. Didn't take much. Doesn't take much. Break. This is, you know, this is our project dog. This is the dog that uh, has been giving them the hardest time. He's the dog that's been here the longest. So we had great success out by the field with the other dog. And now the next step is the final step um, or close to the final step of getting inside in the kennels because that's where he, they really have a hard time with him. So if we can get him inside with the kennels with another dog without reacting, we are gonna know that this dog is fully capable of being a nice, calm, relaxed dog. He's very sweet the more I get to know him. So that's what we're doing now. Good. So I'm just gonna let him chill for a second because he came in and he was like, already. What, you know, and we gotta break that down and say, hey man, it's chill. Balu. Good. Avoidance. Perfect. He's, he doesn't want anything to do with that dog. Nothing. He's like, that's, I don't want anything to do with that, which is good. Balu! Come here, big guy. He's all avoidance, which is good. Just tells you that, like, he doesn't, doesn't want anything to do with those dogs at all. He just doesn't know how to handle situations. So, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> so, my buddy Mike Jones, shout out to Mike Jones over in Primal Canine, just sent me a... Uh, you could tell his voice by how deep it is. Yeah, shout out to Mike Jones for always being a good dude and uh, always being one of my homies in the dog training industry. Go follow him on Instagram. We're in Stop and Shop. We're only in Massachusetts, which is only like an hour from New York. Well, what the hell is that? We gotta go check it out. Excuse me, what is this? Uh, yeah, it doesn't much. What is it? No, it just, it, you see something before, like, it's boring, it. That is so not efficient. Gift certificate and some good treats. All right, we're back. Where's my buddy? There he is. Why don't you just work with him? Can't mess it up. That's the pager. Everything else, don't worry about anything else. It's just the pager. It has no levels. It's just one vibrate thing. Yep, nice. Good decision. All right, so now we're going to have it realistic. So seeing another dog out on a walk and just seeing how they handle it, something they haven't been able to do before. So see how it goes. I think he's going to do great because he's already showing us. He's like, all right, I get it. I don't even want to do this anyway. So again, it's just an opportunity for you guys to see Remy, who's also available for adoption, looking for home. Such a sweet girl. Good job, buddy. Good decision. He's air scenting a bit, so he's smelling her. Good, give him a little break. I'm gonna grab you another one. It's 
Look at him after his situation. He's a complete avoidance. He wants. He's like, I, I don't want anything to do with these dogs, which is good. So he's a sweet dog, and yeah. Anyway, I know that he was kind of like the problem yeah. in the beginning, but now he's like looking more towards the easiest dog, honestly. <laughs> but you guys are doing things. You guys have lives and kids and partners, and you guys have you know lives to do, and you're here volunteering your time. So you hats off to you guys. What can I do to help other than what I've done? I mean, do you guys need anything? More prong collars, like. Okay, I'll um I'll leave you with a couple of them. I'd like to donate that crate. Sure. If that's cool. And then I also got you guys a hundred dollar gift card to uh, Chocker Supply. I'll give you one of my e collars too. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. Oh man. You're welcome. So generous. No problem. All right, you guys. So we're wrapping up here. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, all these dogs are beautiful and capable of being in a, a home. And uh, like I said before, we're going to offer free training for these guys locally. If anybody wants to adopt these dogs out of the town, uh, we would accommodate via FaceTime. Thanks for the shelter for trusting me and opening their doors for me to come in here and, and, and do this because it means everything to me. This is why I do what I do. Share this around. Let's get these guys adopted. And if we do this successfully, let's just keep doing it. Oh, I have Yes, Cody. You gotta give me love. What's up, buddy? What are you guys doing? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, enjoy the cake. Good job. Somebody got some confidence. Good job, puppy.